Hi, this is the Spark Game here. In today's video, we're going to do a bit of PLC programming, finally moving to ladder programming. Okay, so I went out, bought a push button, bought a simple 24 volt light, and yeah, uh, in the enclosure, I've got to wait for it. It's on back order, probably coming tomorrow. But yeah, like this is the fun part, the interesting part. We're actually getting the getting the PLC to PLC controller to work for us. Okay, so yeah, we'll get right back into it. Okay, this is just a quick rundown of me connecting up the controller to our inputs and outputs. Okay, um, I'll draw a proper circuit diagram on the bottom, just roughly to how to connect the inputs and how to connect the outputs. So basically you got the supply to the CPU on the top left as you can see and you can see the active hanging out of my transformer on the left which I'm gonna fix soon. But yeah the top you got M's which is like the neutral and each input's gonna have an active going into it. Of course you got the active that like goes into the button first and then the active goes into the inputs on top and then yeah, when you press the button, the 24 volts will go into the input and out of the neutral, which is the M on top. And on the bottom, you have the outputs. Okay, the outputs just uh, normally open contact. You got the common coming on one side, it's called COM, COM. And then you got the output on the other side, which um, you have going to the output. So basically what it does is when that output gets triggered, just, um, yeah, it will just close that circuit. Okay, so we've got the CPU working. Okay, that's good to hear. Okay, and then whenever we press the... Oh yeah, by the way, that's the enclosure I just ordered in. So I'll just close that, sorry. Okay, so yeah, by the way, I'll... Okay, yeah, I'll press the button on it and... Yeah, one of the blocks turned black, so I know the input's working. Okay, so how do we connect to it? Okay, what I want to know... Okay, well, let's connect to it here. It's over here, bang, okay, oh, okay, it has no password, okay, you can actually password protect these as well, okay, we're in run mode, okay, so how do we create a ladder diagram, that's the question, add ladder diagram, okay, so right click program, add ladder diagram, and then we've got prog1 here, okay, so just say, Okay, we want to add the button. The button would just be a direct contact, so drag the direct contact here. Name, okay, let's put button 1. 1. Okay, let's pull. Pull dimension, initial value. Okay, I'm not I'm pretty sure. Okay, local scope prog one. Okay, the IOs. Okay. Okay, maybe you have to copy. Okay, these are like the. You know, that's the outputs. This is the inputs. Okay. Pretty sure this has to be copied there. Okay. Oh, you can rename him here. Oh, okay, so. Okay, what you do, okay, that's an, okay, we named that the output, we don't want to name it an output. Okay, we'll name it there, it's the input over here, so that one, so, right click, okay, so we drag it in, okay. Okay, let me just show you guys again, so, I'm going to show myself again, of course. Okay, so drag it in, okay, then we go into, okay, so this is local variable, so we can make, Okay, I remember in programs, variables are like, um, they're like types and you've got names to each variable. Okay, use global variable, system variable. Okay, that must be, okay, I'm not sure what they are. But yeah, this is the micro 810. This is our controller. And this is, okay, we've got four outputs in the controller. So 0, 1, 2, 3, that's the four outputs. And we got eight inputs, which is correct. And yeah, this is all the inputs here. So we click the first one. Okay, sweet. And um, okay, I'm not sure how. Okay, so we want to make a. 
Okay, direct coil, set coil. Okay, so if you want to make a light, what's a how to reset coil? Okay, we'll make a direct coil. Okay, so this sounds about right. Okay, and we go over here and make it the first output. So, okay, when we push the button, this will close and it will send power to the output. Okay, that sounds legit. Okay, so we want to upload. Wait, we want to download it. I remember from the, I'm not, not sure if it's the other way around or. I remember in the Siemens ones, download, it was confusing. Download was to, I thought download was meant to download the program from the CPU and upload was to upload it to the CPU. It's actually the other way around. Download is download it into the CPU. Upload is upload from the CPU. And yeah, it's just confusing. Okay, you're like, you're in the spec, you're in the like basic, you're the CPU, not the computer. That's what you base. Well, that's what basically the program is programmed to be. Okay, so it's downloading. Okay, we're in program mode. Okay, it's taking its time, and yes. Okay, change it back to rerun mode. Okay, this is another thing. What if I wanted to? What if I want to show it live? How can I do that? Um, go to prog one. Disconnect build. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to do that. Buzz. Okay, how do we show it live? Okay, that's a good question. I want like to push the button, this to close, and then yeah, that to operate. How do we do that? Um okay let's go communications window tools format deep wait let's see what debugging does okay okay I think this is live mode okay let me push the button okay there you go so debugging mode shows it live and you can see where the current's going that's at 24 volts Okay, really, that should be like at the start of that, but I don't know why they don't. Okay, it's not, it's just it's just hanging there. Okay, so we push it, and yeah, it lights up like a Christmas tree. Uh, that's good to hear. Okay. Okay, guys. So there we have it. We've programmed our first um, ladder diagram. Okay, so basically, yeah, we've got. We got yeah our first program working. We push a button and it turns on a light. Press an input. Um yeah, it puts voltage to the output. Okay, so in the next video we're gonna do a bit of more complex programming. I'm gonna introduce you guys to um, latched switching and also we'll look at a uh, what I haven't done before. We'll look at um, timers. Okay, so guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video please like it comment below any questions you got and of course hit that subscribe button